We all care about our families and want to keep them absolutely safe and secure in their homes. In today's video, we have a smart solution for your home security that is so good, it even notifies your smartphone. And a laser projector that can fill screens of up to 300 inches. Welcome to Chili Tech. Today, we review some more amazing products. So stick around until then, give us a like and hit the subscribe button. Let's go. Hex Home Security Detector. Hex Home is a unique way to detect intruders using Wi-Fi. It fills your space with Wi-Fi waves that will, in theory, bend around a person walking through the area, alerting you to motion via a notification on your phone. It lets you monitor your house without cameras. The approach has benefits, but you can't directly check in when you get a motion notification so you won't know what's going on. So you'll need the Hex Command Hub that connects to your Wi-Fi and two small sensors that plug into an outlet to monitor a 1500 square foot area. You can purchase more sensors for larger homes. The company says the system is pet proof since the sensitivity of the motion capturing can be adjusted to weed out furry friends or robotic vacuums. I particularly like that there are three modes Home and Away, which are typically standard for security systems, plus a vigilant mode that will alert you of motion without setting off the sirens. It could be good if you want to be alerted of an elderly family member's movement throughout the day, or be sure your kids have made it home after school. Hex is expected to release this summer. Pop Socket with MagSafe. Pop sockets are a great way to maintain a firm grip on an oversized smartphone but leaving them on the back of your phone all the time can be annoying. It can even disable wireless charging. Thanks to the iPhone 12's MagSafe system of magnetically attachable accessories, Pop Socket has a better solution. The iconic Pop Grip is now MagSafe compatible, so you can easily pop it on or off your phone. It has a non-slip rubber bottom that makes it longer than usual but this is to prevent it from detaching from the phone when you put it in a pocket. It also has a few more new accessories like the Pop Wallet Plus with MagSafe, a wallet with a grip that sticks to the back of your iPhone that can fit up to three cards, and Pop Mount, a series of MagSafe mounts that let you stick your iPhone 12 to any surface or to car vents. These new accessories only work with the iPhone 12 models. PopSocket says these accessories will launch this spring and summer, though it didn't share any pricing. LG Cinebeam LG's laser projection tech is amongst the best around, which is why I am excited to see its brand new Cinebeam projector in person. In addition to offering excellent colour accuracy, it features LG's WebOS interface, AirPlay connectivity, Wiser and Bluetooth connectivity for audio. Needless to say, this should be one of the easiest projectors to get an image and sound out of. It's also capable of massive images and will fill screens of up to 300 inches for a truly cinematic experience. Pet Portal Door If you're willing to replace an exterior door in your home and drop a cool $3,000, you can give your pet the ability to go outside as they please. This is an interesting concept that also raises my concerns as an extremely nervous pet parent. I mean, what if the mail carrier left your gate open and the dog escapes, or someone grabs them out of your yard? It could be great if you have one of those dogs who wants to go out, then come in, then go out, then stay half in, half out, you know the ones. In automatic mode, a sensor worn on a pet's collar will activate the door on its own when they approach it. In manual, you activate it on your phone. There's video and two-way audio too. Plus, it doesn't look like a doggy door, which is nice for aesthetics, and so potential intruders won't know it's there, unless, of course, they see it opening. Sony Airpeak Drone Sony teased the drone world at CES with some footage of its new Airpeak drone. The company announced Airpeak late last year, but didn't offer any details. We've learned that not only does a prototype exist, 
but Sony has a division of the company developing Airpeak. Unlike DJI's most popular drones, the camera system won't be built in. Instead, the Airpeak will be able to carry a Sony Alpha Series camera. It seems to be a drone aimed primarily at professional filmmakers rather than a consumer-oriented drone to compete with DJI's more popular models. Although niche drone makers have found specialised markets, the broader consumer market remains heavily dominated by DJI. If you guys want to know more about these products or want us to make a video on any specific products, let us know in the comments section below. We will be happy to oblige. But for now, don't forget to give us a like and hit the subscribe button. Au revoir les amis.